Hello people, you're in Spain. Why am I in Spain? I have absolutely no idea why am I in Spain. But we have beautiful things like that and we have like a horse, so that's really nice. And there's a lot of people, a shitload of people. Well, no, there's not a shitload of people. Like when I, in, in London, there was a shitload of people in, in New Year's. Right now, there, I wouldn't say it's a shitload, but there's still a lot of people. And yeah, we have horses and it's really nice. You know, what's actually funny is that my first language that I learned when I was a kid was Spanish. And now I'm in Spain and my last name is Spanish. So I have Spanish blood inside of me. What's the percentage? I have no idea. But I have Spanish blood, so now I'm in Spain. So it's like coming back to your roots. It's where I'm, where I'm originally from. There's like a nice building as well. And yeah, pe people are watching me really weird because I'm filming. And, and it's really beautiful. And it's like a beautiful, old, colorful city. That's how I would describe it. That right there, that's a horse. Right now I have the Santiago Bernabeu. Like, it's fucking there, it's crazy. That, that can easily be the most famous stadium in all of football. And I have it right in front of my eye. Bernabeu, you know what I mean? Damn. It's just astonishing. Another thing is that two days ago, Real Madrid won against Liverpool in Anfield 2 5. So Real Madrid scored five goals in Anfield to Liverpool just two days ago. And now I'm in their stadium. Woo. That's it's really huge. Huge. I've been in Madrid since last Saturday, yes, and or Sunday, no, last Saturday, and today it's Thursday, so I'm going to leave in about two days, but I've quite enjoyed it, and I will go to the city center to film a little bit, and I really lo like this apartment, you know, it has, it has a couch that can be a bed, so you just... And it has, what else? It has lamps, flowers, a nice TV, stuff for statistics, and that, that's dirty. And I will probably not clean it because, you know, I don't usually clean much. So that will stay like that. It has been like that for like two days. And... This is the top of the, like, creme de la creme. This is the best food you can eat. It has all the vitamins you need. And a baby giraffe. So, I'm gonna lie. I really like this freaking outfit, you know? Like, the blue blazer with the shirt that has, like, two blue lines. So, it's, like, cool. And this is, like, wine. I, it's really nice. I think it goes really good. You know, with the bottled water. It's late. It's... Almost 3 p.m. and I haven't gotten out of the house. That's not good. I have to start today. Now, I'm getting out of the apartment into the wild city of Madrid. God damn, this is beautiful. The median age in Spain is 43, which may not sound a lot, but when you take into consideration the millions of people that that applies to, it is a lot. For example, America has a median age of 38 and a half, and Spain has a median yeah. age of 43. So, yeah, there, there's not a lot of kids here. Well, I haven't seen any of them. Well, I have seen some, but not many. You, you get what I mean. Hey, España, as the locals say it buildings and more buildings that has to be one of the biggest flags of Spain in, in the world I think like that's big as fuck that's like the size of a tree you know what I mean oh not a tree that thing that, that's a tree 
like that's just ginormous. That's the size of like four cars all together. It's just so big. That's really freaking big. Okay, I've actually been getting some nice looks from women of Spain, Madrid, thanks to my nice blazer. So, dudes, you should probably put in a blazer and get some nice looks as well because it, it provides good results. What is that? Why? Why is that a, a naked human there? What? What? What, what is that? I still don't understand how in Europe they have like naked people as publicity. Like that's normal, having a naked person in a big ass street where a lot of people walk. Like that's normal? Why? Ay mi amor, mon bebe. Ah, nasty. I'm not lying to you, that's the first really nice car I've seen in Spain. And I've been here for almost a week but that is but it does look nice An old architecture by the Spain or the Spaniards it's about 3 p.m. and I haven't eaten lunch that's a big problem I have to eat lunch right now ASAP if not you know if not I'll get probably get mad I have absolutely no idea the name of this place but it is certainly the most coolest and nicest place I've seen in Spain I don't, I don't know if the king lives here probably probably he lives here how am I here I don't know but just look at the statues Th those have to be kings Wilfredo el Belloso Belloso is like beautiful so it's like good looking and you see these trees? They're like well cut trees. Like this is like high quality trees. Oof, no, I have to I have to bring my parents here. Wow. This is the nicest place I've seen here. It's all the trip. I, and I didn't want to be here. I was just walking by and I just found an amazing castle. Like there. Why? I don't know, you know, like see, see, the, see the trees, like they, they, they're like French trees, you know, they're beautiful and the apartments are colorful as well, so it's just so nice. Oh, what is this guy like? Alonso, Rey de Leon, of course, Ramiro I, Rey de Aragón. Yeah, they have like kings here. This, these guys are kings. No one can confirm that. These people, they look like kings. Like, th that is not a normal dude. But, but that guy has... <laughs> that guy was a king at one point. Like, you cannot be dressed. I'm sure this this has to be the coolest place in Spain. Well, it's a, at least it's the coolest place I've seen in Spain. Wow. Whoa. It's like the Buckingham Palace, but I think it's even nicer. And it's like with the sun. Yeah. Okay. I'm still not sure if that's the King's Palace. Look at like like you have police so somebody has like that's a house of like the trees, the little trees you have in the bamboo with the cars. Oh, there's a guy moving. I don't know what the fuck that guy is doing. Oh, he doesn't kill me. But like this, this is nuts. This palace, I didn't thought it even existed. How about what amuses me is that like I can jump this fence. Like there's a not, there's not a lot of security, you know? Okay, that's another building that in person looks quite astonishing. I don't know the place of this. But you can see a view there. So you probably can see the sunset from there. So that's really nice. Right now, in front of my eyes, one of the most emblematic places of all of Madrid. 
blast on my door. Okay, this place is a big ass square. Like there, there's like, okay, it's like imagine a square, right? Like a normal square, but this multiply it like by a lot, and then it's like super big. So that that is what Plaza Mayor is, and in the middle, it has a thing, a guy with a horse, you know. Even in the middle of one of the most emblematic places, how do they have a freaking horse with a, a guy? And we have Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse in Plaza Mayor? Damn! But that looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie, it looks... Yeah, it looks Spanish. Okay, I, I still don't understand. They have like Mickey Mouse. Boss like here in the middle of Plaza Mayor. Like, I, I, I totally understand the horse. The horse is cool as fuck. But we're not in Disneyland. Like, you cannot have... Freaking Mickey walking around. So now I'm walking out of Plaza Mayor and I'm going to park in El Retiro. Hope it is not too far away. And uh, have more Spanish flags. There's a lot of flags of Spain and I really like it. I'm not sure if you can read it there. It says Congreso de los Diputados. Diputados, it's a legislative power, so it's like the uh, the senators. So the senators of Spain are there, just you know, talking their thing, talking their talk. If you know what I mean. I have the big ass sun in front of my eyes. Ah, fuck. Yeah, this is just like in Costa Rica and I just saw straight into the sun. That's why I have fucked up eyes. Damn, what a sun. It's been a while since I've had this much sun. That is the Rai. This is the Real Academia Española. For you to kind of know what the Rai is, the Rai is like the Oxford Dictionary of English, but of Spain and of Spanish. So like every little rule, every word, everything, it's in the Rai. So everything that uh, constitutes the Spanish language has to be accredited by the Rai. Every little change, every new word added, all of them have to go through the Rai in order to, you know, become official. Become an official, an official use of the Spanish language. This is, like this is the main entry of the park. Just astonishing. Like in the afternoon, imagine you're sitting there with your significant other even though you don't have one and you just see the birds and the grass and Ooh, it's quite beautiful. Messy hair, beautiful park, nice sunset. Damn. That sounds like a perfect Tuesday to me, not gonna lie. Thursday. Third. Fourth. Okay, I really like how the sun looks with my face. Well, no, how the sun, no, how my face looks with the sun. It looks, ah, fuck. I almost fell. I didn't, thanks to God. Those trees, these, these trees, the amount of time that has to be put into these trees in order for them to stay like this. It's nuts. In the wind, oh my god. Damn, I look good. Damn. I was not wrong. We actually have love ducks. Hey man, it was good. What you tell Hey people, thank you a lot for watching this video and see you next Sunday with a new adventure.